welcome back to Miss Annette's Little Farm in the Big City. Today we're going to talk about the garden's unsung hero, the cucumber. Before we really get into a cucumber, let's go ahead and look at the cucumber plant. The leaves are big and broad. Like that. That points. And if you look really closely or if you can feel, they have tiny little prickles on them. Just like the cucumbers do. They have tiny little flowers. And the bees love these little flowers. And they grow on a vine and they have trendles. And these attach to things. And see, this is attached to my fence here. And actually, there's a cucumber growing right here. It's just a little baby one. It's not very big yet. And it has little spines on it too. And if you don't grab it carefully, it could prick you. Cucumbers are pretty easy to grow. They just require a lot of space because they vine out and they go out everywhere. I have a little fencing here to try to keep it contained in one spot because my garden is so small. But if you grew in a pot, there's all kinds of varieties of cucumbers that you can grow. There's some that grow smaller. I've even grown cucumbers that were this big, that were delicious. I think I'm gonna try growing those again. I really like those. About 300 years ago, the cucumber used to be called a cowcumber. I'm not really sure why. Maybe cows used to like to eat it. Who knows? <laughs> I do know that cucumbers are delicious. And there's a lot of other things that we can learn about cucumbers. Are you having trouble drinking eight glasses of water a day? Try a cucumber. It's 95% water and helps keep you hydrated. Cucumbers contain vitamin B1, B2, B3, B5, and B6. Potassium, calcium, vitamin C, iron, folic acid. Who needs a multivitamin when you got a cucumber? Do you need a spa day after a hard day at school or work? Cucumbers are great for that. You can use slices of cucumbers on your eyes and you can throw your cucumbers in a bath. The hot water will create some steam and the nutrients in the cucumber will leave stress. And when you're done, you can use the cucumber to clean your bathroom and remove scum and rust. Without using harsh chemicals. One of the things that we know about cucumbers is that the seeds are a natural de dewormer. and that the goats and the chickens love them. Feeding our animals cucumbers on hot days like today has another benefit. It also helps them to cool their body down. It also helps cool humans' bodies down. So if you're ever really hot on a hot August day, grab a cucumber. It'll help cool you down. And don't forget the cucumber tea. It's the perfect pick-me-up. All of the B vitamins are not give you a little perk in the afternoon. Our book today is Cucumber Soup, written by Vicki Lay Crudwig and illustrated by Craig McFarland Brown. Early 
one morning in a vegetable garden, ten little ants went out to look for food. While they were gone, something terrible happened. Oh no. <laughs> A cucumber fell on their anthill and covered its entrance. No one could get in, no one could get out. The ten little black ants pushed and pulled, but the cucumber didn't move. Who will help us move this cucumber? cried the ten little black ants. We will, said nine noisy mosquitoes. We will help you push. They pushed and pulled, but the cucumber didn't move. Who will help us? cried the nine noisy mosquitoes. We will said the eight orange ladybugs. We will help you push. They pushed and pulled, but the cucumber didn't move. Who will help us? cried the eight orange ladybugs. We will, said seven hairy garden spiders. We will help you push. They pushed and pulled, but the cucumber didn't move. Who will help us? cried the seven hairy garden spiders. It's getting to be quite a crowd around that cucumber, isn't it? We will, said six fuzzy bumblebees. We will help you push. They pushed and pulled, but the cucumber didn't move. Who will help us, cried the six fuzzy bumblebees. We will, said five purple butterflies. We will help you push. They pushed and pulled, but the cucumber didn't move. Who will help us, cried the five purple butterflies. Oh my. We will, said four bright fireflies. We will help you push. They pushed and pulled, but the cucumber didn't move. Who will help us, cried the four bright fireflies. We will said three yellow grasshoppers. We will help you push. They pushed and pulled, but the cucumber didn't move. Who will help us? cried the three yellow grasshoppers. That's quite a crowd, isn't it? <laughs> We will, said two green praying mantises. We will help you push. They pushed and pulled, but still the cucumber didn't move. Who will help us, cried the two green praying mantises. I will, 
squeaked one tiny leaf. I will help push. You will help us? You are too tiny. The other bugs began to laugh. They made fun of the tiny flea. Go home, they cried. The one tiny flea ignored the others. He began to push and push and push. And then something wonderful happened. The cucumber moved. The other bugs stopped laughing. They began to push too. The two green praying mantises pushed. The three yellow grasshoppers pushed. The four bright fireflies pushed. The five purple butterflies pushed. The six fuzzy bumblebees pushed, the seven hairy garden spiders pushed, the eight orange ladybugs pushed, the nine noisy mosquitoes pushed, the ten black ants pushed. Everyone pushed and pulled the cucumber. Soon it was off the anthill. Teamwork makes dream work, doesn't it? They all work together and move the cucumber. That's wonderful. Ah, we did it, shouted the ten black ants. We did it, shouted the nine noisy mosquitoes. We did it, shouted the eight orange ladybugs. We did it, shouted the seven hairy garden spiders. We did it, shouted the six fuzzy bumblebees. We did it, shouted the five purple butterflies. We did it shouted the four bright fireflies. We did it, shouted the three yellow grasshoppers. We did it, shouted the two green praying mantises. We did it, shouted the one tiny flea. Everyone in the garden clapped and cheered. The little black ants were so happy, they invited everyone over for some homemade cucumber soup. Yum. I love this picture. Everybody sitting together, celebrating their hard work. And then the very last page has a recipe for cucumber soup. Maybe we should try it. What do you think? I think we will. We sure enjoy our stories here on the little farm. And I sure enjoy having you come here to visit. It sure means a lot to me. Sometimes I sit at home when I'm thinking about making a video and I think about your faces and I think about each and every one of you and how grateful I am that you're watching my videos and that we're sharing this time together. All this talk about cucumber is making me hungry. I have a recipe from one of the books that we read. It's called Cucumber Soup. This is what the recipe looks like. And it's very simple because you know Ms. Matt likes to cook simple. It only has a few things. We need some cucumbers, some lemon juice, some dill. I picked this from the garden. Half a cup of milk. And some yogurt. Some pepper. And the recipe called for some garlic salt, which I wasn't sure that I would like that in my cucumber soup, so I decided not to do that. And that's our prerogative, isn't it? When we look at a recipe and we decide whether or not we're going to use it or not, sometimes that's how it works. Now peeling the cucumber, I can use a vegetable peeler, which is a very safe way if you're worried about using a knife. 
and it works very well. And you just peel it like that. Or you can use a knife. And I have a paring knife right here. It's a small knife. I keep it nice and sharp. And I can use it as well. Just like that. Either one will work just fine. Depends on what you're comfortable with. I'm going to cut this cucumber in half. Then I'm going to cut the halves into halves, which will make it into quarters. And then I think I want my pieces to be kind of small. So I'm going to line them up like this, and then I'm just going to chop them like that. See, I don't have any fingers in the way. Ah, that looks good. It's my least favorite month of the year because it is so hot outside. And not just because it's hot, but because everything is drying up and getting all brown and I just don't really like it too much. All right, now I have the yogurt and now I'm going to put the milk in with the yogurt and mix it up together. This is a whisk and you can use it to mix things. Kind of like a blender. Now that we have it all whisked together, we're going to add the dill, the lemon, the pepper. Now we're going to go ahead and put the cucumbers in it. There we go. We'll put it in the refrigerator for about an hour or two and it'll be ready for dinner. Yum. I added some tomato to my soup because fresh tomatoes are so delicious and so are fresh cucumbers. Super simple, nice and cool, and delicious. Who would have thought all that about a cucumber? Wow, that's why I call them the unsung heroes of the vegetable garden. And I have some other unsung heroes that I want to thank. I want to thank Uncle Mike. I want to thank Beanie. I want to thank Sensei Spider and Carlita for joining our little farm family. It really means a lot to me. Oh, and I want to thank Tina for sending me such nice comments on my videos. You're all so special. And I'm so glad that you're here with me. I know, I say that all the time. And I want you to know, as our farm family continues to grow, each and every one of you hold a special place in my heart. Thank you for visiting Miss Annette's Little Farm in the Big City. Make sure you get outside today. And we'll see you next time. Bye.